If you're a non-UK citizen and your immigration status says no recourse to public funds, you can still get free child care for your two-year-old. If you would like to find out how, make sure you watch till the end of this video. <laughs> Guys, if you just see my face for the first time, my name is Mona and I'm a Nigerian who is in UK. So on here, I share content around my life as a new immigrant in UK. So make sure you hit on the subscribe button below because you're going to love it here. And to all my returning subscribers, guys, thank you so much. I can't believe we are 2K already. Thank you so much for your constant love, for your support on this channel. I'm so thankful to God for each and every one of you. I really appreciate it. Keep the love pouring. So today's video is based on popular requests, you know, a few people have asked me to talk about childcare in UK for um, children below 4 years. Before we go into this video, I would like to say that I'm not an immigration lawyer, I'm not an immigration expert. All the information I'll be sharing on this video can be found on the UK government's website. I don't know if you can see it, yeah. So this is it. So I'll be sure to drop the link to the website where you can go and read further to have better understanding on everything. But this is just me trying to, you know, explain it better for, especially for those of us that are still new or that, are, that will be coming soon that don't really understand how it works. So the UK government recently introduced this um, free child care for children between the age of two to four. Because we all know that free education starts from four years old. But there's this new development where children between the ages of two and four can access free child care. So based on what is written on the UK government website, it says that if your immigration status says you have no recourse to public fund, you may still get free child care for your two-year-old. You must live in the England and your household income must not be more than 26,500 for family outside London and 34,500 for families within London with one child or 30,600 for families outside of London with two children or 38,600 for families within London with more than two children. That is to say, let's say if you're, for example, if you're on a student visa, your husband is working, you're working and you have a two-year-old that you would like to assess this child care. Before you can assess this child care, if you live outside London, make sure that your household income is no more than 26,500. So if your income is below 26,500, it means you can get free um, child care for your child who just turned two. And same applies for families who live within London. If you live within London, make sure that your household income is no more than 34,500. That is, if the both of you are working as a couple, like combine your income together, if it's no more than 34,500, you can have access to um, free childcare for your two-year-old. Then if you have more than one children and you live outside of London, your household income shouldn't be more than 30,600. That's for families that live in places like Manchester, Birmingham. If your household income is below 30,600, you guys can access free childcare for your children. Then if you live within London and you have more than two children and you would like them to use free childcare, you have to be sure that your household income is no more than 38,600 when combined. So once you are sure you meet up with all of these requirements, two-year-old has access to free 15 hours every week. That's the total of 570 hours in a year. So you can spread it across anyhow you want. Maybe if you want them to, you know, want them to do six hours in a day, you want them to do three hours in a day, 12 hours, like anyhow you want it. This requirement that I just mentioned is for children who are between the ages of two to three, not more than three years old. It's once your child, um, you know, turns two, they can assess this child care. So how it works is, if your child is turning two in December, they can start um, their free child care in January. If they are turning two in April, they will not be able to start till September. The um, session usually starts January, April, and September. So your child has to turn two before the new session starts. If they are turning two in the month or a month after the session starts, they will have to wait till the next session. Basically, that's how it works. So moving on to the next, this is for children between the ages of 3 and 4. So if your child is below the age of 4 and above the age of 3, like between 3 to 4 years and 4 years old, they have free, they are entitled to free 15 hours per week. Like it's free, you don't you don't need to meet any minimum requirement. But let me just read it out as it is written on the website. So for all families in England with three and four year old children in hours of free child care or early education for 38 weeks, a total of 570 hours per year that you can use flexibly with one or more child care provider. 
Some providers will allow you to stretch the hours over 52 weeks using fewer hours per week. As, like, as I said earlier, you can, you know, decide that, okay, they can be coming to daycare three times in a week. They can come two times a week. Like, whichever way you want it, you can just discuss with this um, daycare or school or whatever childcare services you'll be using. You just discuss with them on how you want to spread these 570 hours in a year. Am I eligible? 15 hours of free childcare is available for all families in England. So if you live in England, you can access these 15 hours childcare for your children who are three and four years old. Then where can you use it? It's available at participating full day care or nurseries, schools, childminders, sessional providers, for example, playgroups, short start children's centers, after clubs, and so on. So these are the places that you can use these free 15 hour services. When can your child start? So if your child is turning three in December, they can start in January. So if your child is turning three in February, you have to wait till April for them to start. If they are turning three in um, maybe June or July, you have to wait till September for them to start. So there's also another um, 30 hours free childcare for children between the ages of three and four. But this is for working parents. Like if the both of you are working and any, let me just read it as it is on the UK government side. So for working families in England with three and four year old children, 30 hours of free childcare or early education, like you're entitled for, you're entitled to 30 hours of free childcare or early education. That is a total of 1,140 hours per year that you can use flexibly with one or more childcare provider. Some providers will allow you to stretch the hours over 32, um, over 52 weeks using fewer hours per week. So who is eligible? You and any partner must each expect to earn on average at least 167 pounds per week which is equivalent to 16 hours of work if you or your partner are on maternity paternity adoption leave or you are unable to work because you are disabled or have caring responsibilities you could still be eligible you can't get 30 hours free childcare if either you or your partner each individually expect to earn hundred thousand pounds or more what this means is if you live in england and you and your partner both of you are working for a minimum of 16 hours in a week if both of you can you know you your child have free access to 30 hours of child care in a week if you or your partner is earning over hundred thousand pounds in a year you cannot access this free child care but if you're earning below hundred thousand you can still assess this child care and it also means that even if your maternity leave your paternity leave your adoptive your adoptive leave that maybe people adopted a child or something and you need to spend time with your new baby and all that you can still get free child care for your other child while still on leave so the difference between this um child care of three to four years and that of the two year old is for the two year old when you combine your household income it must not be more than twenty six thousand five hundred but when it comes to the three to four year old the one for 15 hours even if you're any hundred k or whatever amount you can still assess it then the one for 30 hours so long as your house your personal income doesn't have to be combined so long as your you or your partner's income is no more than hundred thousand pounds in uh, per annum you can still have access to this free child care if you live in england and you have a child who is between the ages of two to four you don't have to wait until they are four before they start school you can enroll them in daycare you know you have access to this 15 hours per week or or up to 30 hours per week depending on which category you fall in so i'm going to drop link to this website so you can go ahead and you know read more about it so even if you don't live in england maybe you live in scotland you live in ireland you live in wales there's still some free child care that you can assess for your children so all you have to do is contact your um, local council for better clarification on what um, child care support you have um, access to even if you're in England and maybe you're not so clear with all that I said, you can still feel free to contact your local council for better clarification on what you are eligible for based on your household income and your circumstance. So guys, this brings us to the end of this video. Like I said, I'll be dropping the link to the um, UK Gov website where you'll be finding all of this information. Thank you so much for watching till this point. Please, if you're watching now and you're yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button below so you still see this face. And yeah, let me know in the comment section what kind of videos you would like me to talk about. I'm going to see you guys on my next video. Until next time, bye!